the good guy badges is bringing you another gears of war gameplay this is on checkout uh my favorite map uh, and this is going to be talking about a couple things this is going to be talking about my new quality settings i'm gonna need you guys to tell me if this video looks good better than the last couple videos or if it still needs some adjustment uh, i got the new settings going in my um in my Vegas, my Sony Vegas, so the render settings are all different. Hopefully, it looks as good as it can for everybody. I'm trying to really up the game on the the uh, production, make sure it looks good. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to talk a little bit about um, sportsmanship. Now, this isn't going into sportsmanship um, on a competitive level. Um, I know Arctic, his channel, just did a sportsmanship uh, commentary the other day. This is just talking about general sportsmanship. Um, when playing in in quick match or something like the general public is is doing, we played. Me and one other guy was in my party, and we played these guys probably three or four matches. And me and my buddy were saddled with some level like 19 and 18. I think they're still playing. Maybe they're 29 and 8, 28, something like that. And they were really uh, just really not very good. And so they were giving up a lot of deaths. You know, me and my buddy were doing all right. We were getting like seven and th two, seven and three. So we were staying on top of these dudes, but we were losing the match. You know, it happens. It happens, right? But we were feeling like we could get them, and these other dudes were getting better. You know, they were new at the game. You could tell. Um, and uh, so that's the way it was going. Now we get into checkout here, and we start doing well. We get a new guy added to our team. He's, you know, I think a level 60 something. And all of a sudden, our team really comes together, and, and we do pretty well in destroying these guys. Well, guess what happens? Boom! First time they lose, they quit out. Immediately. Immediately. Now, that's fine. I'm not mad about it. They can quit at the end of the game. There's no penalties. There's no, um, you know, it's not a competitive thing. That's not what I'm talking about here. It's not competitive. This is not MLG or game battles or anything like that. This is just general... Uh, ego stuff. I want to know how you guys feel. Do you need to quit every time you lose a match? Is it something that you have to do? Or do you feel like you can stick it out and learn the other players and get better even if you're playing against better players? Me, myself, I really don't like to quit out, especially if I feel like the mistakes I've been making are my mistakes. Um, now, if it's a party of, of very well-organized players um, and I'm all by myself, with uh with you know randoms then i'm not gonna get punished forever but i'll stick it out for a full match or two depending on the maps as well um i just don't see the point of getting super worried about losing one round or one map or, or something like that uh, especially if you know if you feel like you're doing all right so how do you guys feel um i just you know kind of getting a, a barometer on on the overall play style and and sportsmanship of everybody that's still playing Gears of War 3. Um, this is not on the alpha playlist. Uh, I wish it was, but some of my buddies don't like that playlist. Um, one of my buddies really likes the retro in maps like this. Um, in a checkout scenario, the retro seems to be his number one thing, and it makes sense. If any of the uh, levels are fit for the retro, I believe it's checkout. Um, it's just a really powerful and punishing weapon at most of the distances that you can find yourself at in checkout speaking of maps and I know we've hit on this before um, I'm wondering why overpass is still in this game how many of y'all play overpass and just can't do it anymore I mean if you get up top you win no matter what if you get stuck down at the bottom you lose no matter what it's really not it's really not even debatable it's just something that happens uh, kinda of frustrating pretty frustrating um, I'd like to shout out the the, uh, the last two the last uh, guy that commented on my previous video. I think his name is I Poop Berlin, which is interesting. Um, thanks for the support, man. Glad you liked the videos. Glad that you uh, are happy with your subscription. We won't be doing any Modern Warfare Three, just to reiterate that, guys. So sorry about that. Not really, but thanks. Thanks again. Thanks again. Anyways. Uh, if you're a Modern Warfare 3 guy, link me to some of your videos, man. Maybe there's something cool that I'm missing, but I just don't feel that way at this point. Um, I really would like to know what guys, uh, what characters you guys are going to be in Skyrim. So if you feel like you're going to play Skyrim and you can't freaking wait 
like the rest of us, go ahead and put it in the comments uh, what character you're going to be. I'd like to know. I'd like to get a feel for what everybody else is, uh, is trying to roll with because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go with Red Guard, which is a very standard combat oriented character with a touch of magic. And I'm going to stick pretty true to that formula. Um, so, in general, that's kind of my outlook um, on that. Is sticking true to the combat with a little bit of magic. And um, if anybody else has some uh, some cool character ideas, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I think this video looks good. I think this is probably the best render settings I've come across. I mean, it's going to look really sharp. It's going to look really colorful. Checkout is a very pretty map, in my opinion. Um, and from what I've noticed from my test that I ran last night with a few clips, uh, this should be a very, very um, dependable setting. This should be a setting I can run on every game to really give it the, uh, the look that we want. So go ahead and leave in the comments section um, how the video looks as well so we can get sort of a uh, kind of a, you know, a test on how it looks on and, and your computers and things like that. If you notice throughout this gameplay, I've I've gotten quite a few shotgun battle victories, um, and I have to say that part of that is the responsibility of Like Butter and his Nasher tutorial video that we referenced in the previous video. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and give it a look up. It's Like Butter is back is the guy's name, uh, and search that in YouTube. And he's got a Nasher tutorial for Gears of War 3. Um, and I, I said it I said it last video, I'll say it again. Excellent video. Really helps. It really just gives you kind of the... Um, the it tells you what the pros do. And even if you're not as good at executing those things yet, you know what to be practicing. You know what to be uh, reaching for. So overall, I found it very helpful and not intimidating in any way. He's not trying to show off or anything of that nature he's literally just simply trying to help which I find uh, to be pretty cool some of these guys want to keep all their secrets their own and uh, we don't need none of that we got enough of that going on on YouTube so this video is coming to an end guys make sure that you like favorite and subscribe if you want to simple as that simple as that so thanks again um, and I hope uh, everybody loves the Gears War 3 videos more on the way